Hi, my name is Natasha Tracy, and this is Breaking Bipolar at Healthy Place. Today I want to talk about the idea that if you take a medication every day for your mental illness, that you're a drug addict. Now I know some people might laugh at that very notion, and I understand that, but believe me when I tell you that was something I genuinely worried about when I started taking medication for my bipolar disorder. I remember when I was prescribed that medication and taking it home that night. And I remember having the medication in one hand and a glass of water in the other hand. And I started to shake. My hands started to shake. The glass of water was shaking so much that it got all down the front of me, all over the kitchen, before I could actually get it to my mouth and the pill down my throat. I did not want to take that drug. In fact, I had nightmares all night long, undoubtedly because I was so scared. And part of the reason was because of addiction. I have addicts in my family, and I knew what it was like to have an addiction or to be an addict, and I didn't want to be that kind of person. I didn't want to have an addiction. I saw what it did to people and the people around them, and I didn't want that in my life. I was genuinely scared of that. Now, of course, when a doctor prescribes a medication, it would be very helpful if they would explain to you that that's not an addiction, but many times they don't. So let me tell you, addiction requires at least two components. One of them is dependence and the other is abuse. Now, when you take a medication for your mental illness, you may very well be dependent on that medication. I am. I'm dependent on several medications. But Many people around the world are dependent on medications for their survival, like a heart medication, or for example, maybe you need insulin to treat your diabetes. Those people are dependent on those drugs. And that's okay. We don't call those people drug addicts, and that's for a very good reason. And that's because they don't abuse those substances, because that's the second part of addiction. You have to not only be dependent on that drug, but you have to also abuse that drug. Now, most people with mental illness do not abuse medications because they're not party drugs. <laughs> they're not fun to take. Abuse potential is what we call very, very low with those medications. But even if there is an abuse potential, people often don't abuse those medications because they're using them as directed. So when you use that medication, like it says on the prescription, when you talk to your doctor, when you're open with them and you're honest with them and you do what he tells you to do, that's not an addiction. I wish someone had have explained this to me when I had started taking medication. That's why I'm explaining it to you. If you're worried about addiction and medication, please talk to your doctor. Don't stay scared. Try to communicate, try to be open, because your doctor is going to be able to explain whatever your concerns are about your medication and addiction. My name is Natasha Tracy, and this is Breaking Bipolar.